Hello everyone. Well today I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating this Electrolux vacuum cleaner by Theo Klein. This is a scale model based on the Electrolux Ergo Space canister or cylinder vacuum cleaner. It's just like the real thing but a lot smaller and with quite a lot less suction power I imagine. Well let's uh, open this up see if it comes with some polystyrene balls and we'll uh, see if it manages to pick everything up in the demonstration. Okay, is it going to come out of the box easily? It doesn't want to come out does it? Come on! can't show you off to the people if you don't come out of your box. They don't want you to take it out of the box, do they? There we go. I think that's everything. Nothing else in there. Got uh, various instruction sheets. Well there you go, that's the vacuum finally out of the box and I must say it does look just like the real thing. At the time I'm making this video I do have a full sized one of these on the way in black but it's this shape and Theo Klein, a German company who manufacture all sorts of pretend toys from uh, major manufacturers including Miele and Bosch and of course Electrolux. So this is based, it's a very good version, it really does look like the real thing but obviously made for smaller hands. So first of all we need to do a little bit of assembly don't we with the hose. So it doesn't matter which end we put into the handle so we need to put one end of the the flexible hose and it might take a little bit of force just to push it right in make sure it's in turn it and twist it there we go I think that's on and then the other end fits into the vacuum cleaner just here and that just pushes on again with a bit of force a bit twisting it yeah, that is quite hard to put on, but once it's on, you shouldn't have to remove it. It's going to need a bit more force. It's not quite... Ah, oh, there we go. There we are. That's the hose securely in place. Now we can, of course, use the cleaner just with the hose if we want to. But we can also push on the extension wand. You just push and twist. That's a nice tight fit and then of course onto the end we can put the main nozzle again just carefully push and twist oops <laughs> don't push it too much because you might hear a cracking noise as I've just experienced so be careful it's not a real vacuum so you might find it's not quite as strong as the real Electrolux ergo space it looks like the real one but it's not built quite the same and it doesn't actually pivot the head so you can only use it at this angle well it's still oh, it's giving nice carpet lines isn't it on this plush rug just like the real thing would right well that's a cleaner assembled let's take a closer look at its main features and functions. One feature it has, just like the real thing, is a parking slot at the back of the machine so we can slot the main floor head into it. Again, we'll have to be careful, we don't want to snap anything, it doesn't seem to be the strongest plastic. But there you can see we can actually attach the wand and the floor tool to the back of the machine and if I carefully take it off I'm wondering if it's got a storage bracket as well 
we'll have a look at the underside and no unlike the real Electrolux we don't have any sort of a slot at the back we do have though a pretend front swivel caster but two fully operational wheels look and here is where we need to insert the batteries so I'll do that now because it won't work unless we put some batteries inside you need a small Phillips type screwdriver to get the battery cover off and this takes C size batteries three of them so uh, hopefully these will be okay I've had them quite a long time make sure they go in the correct way and then we can pop the cover back on and just make sure it's on properly and then do up the screw okay the batteries are in so we can switch it on using this rotary control let's hope it works well yes it seems to work but how well will it perform we'll soon find out but first of all we'll have a look at where all the polystyrene balls will end up and on this particular one although it says s bag doesn't have a bag it's got if i can remove it it's a little bit stiff there we go i think i need a bit of oil for those wheels this is the bagless container that hopefully will suck up all those polystyrene balls now there's no filter system so unless you pick up the polystyrene balls supplied if you pick up anything smaller they'll go straight through and into the motor of this vacuum which is a bit hard to see but it will be located just there can you just see there that's where the motor is of this particular vacuum cleaner so we'll pop this back in because we'll need that in place and then it goes this way round there we are okay well we're ready to do a demonstration but first of all I'm going to try it first using the suction directly from the handle they tend to work better that way so let's tip out the polystyrene balls big pile of them I've got some nice colored ones to try I think they'll be okay to use with this Theo Klein Electrolux right it's a big pile let's see if we can pick it up Well, that was a clean sweep for the Electrolux Ergo Space. Hopefully, we'll find all the polystyrene balls inside the container. Again, it's a bit hard to remove, but it should loosen up in time. Oh, it spilt some out, look. But can you see there? Look, there's some in there. Look, just there. Look, you can see them. And a few, unfortunately, have managed to escape into the compartment let's tip those out shall we i think that's all of them and then we can just empty them all out again and we can suck them up all over again just for fun i like doing this in fact i used to do this many many years ago when i was a little boy but of course, little girls can enjoy this as well, and grown-up men and women can enjoy this. Anyone can enjoy it. There's no age limitation to this, although there is a 
a minimum age. I'll just find out what that is. Well, you've got to be at least three to use this vacuum cleaner, but it doesn't stop you watching somebody older using it. You can watch me using it. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Listen to that. Oh dear. Gonna need a little bit of oil, aren't we? Let's pop the uh, container back. We'll pick these up again, and then we'll see how effective it is using the main carpet and floor nozzle. So we know it can pick them up using a uh, hose end, but will it work using the extension wand? So we'll just pop it on, try not to make it make that snapping noise again. Just put it on enough so it won't fall off. There we are, I think that's it. Right, squeak, squeak. Let's see if it's going to pick these up. Well, I think this Electrolux Ergo space has done pretty well, considering. I think it's, ah, uh, oh, no, look. There's one tiny polystyrene ball left. But apart from that one, oh, sorry, two. Apart from two that managed to escape, it picked everything up. So, uh, this is the only trouble with this vacuum it's the difficulty in removing the waste container which we can empty now all over the carpet yes pretty impressed as you could see it did snow plow a bit but if you go slowly be a little bit more patient it's not a race is it just go slowly and then eventually all the little polystyrene balls are picked up into the container there look well i'll finish this video by picking this pile of polystyrene balls up let's see if it manages to clean them up all over again Well, there you go. That's the end of today's video on the Electrolux Ergo Space Scale Model Vacuum Cleaner by Theo Klein. I'm going to give this a generous four out of five stars. It's uh, a little bit flimsy, so it won't take a lot of uh, rough and tumble. 
but it picks up the polystyrene balls using the main head as well as the hose end. Took a little bit of time, but it still picked it up. It's a very faithful reproduction of the real thing. It does look like a real vacuum cleaner, but just scaled down. So yeah, four out of five, I think, for this cleaner. If you want to buy one, I'll put an Amazon link below the video. And of course, it's an affiliated link. So if you click on that link and buy the item, I will get a few pennies to help towards the upkeep of my YouTube channel. So if you have any comments or questions about this little toy Theo Klein vacuum cleaner, please comment below and I'll see you soon for the next video. Bye for now.